The year 2022 can be described as the year of recovery. The union was gradually coming out of the negative effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on church attendance, evangelistic campaigns, and incomes. This report presents how the Lord has been gracious to the church in the Southern Ghana Union Conference. L.A. White in Testimonies, Volume 5, page 223, the third paragraph. He says, there must be a revival of the straight testimony. The path to heaven is no smoother now than in the days of the Savior. All our sins must be put away. Every darling indulgence that hinders our religious life must be cut off. The right eye or the right hand must be sacrificed if it calls us to offend. The officers of the Southern Ghana Union Conference comprise Pastor Dr. Thomas Techi Ukraine as president, Pastor Dr. Chris Ananunu, executive secretary, and Pastor Dr. Bright Oseyeboa as the CFO. The union spans seven regions out of the 16 regions in Ghana. These regions are the Central, Eastern, Greater Accra, Western, Western North, Oti, and Volta. This comprising 12 fields, of which 10 are conferences and two are mission fields. The conferences are Accra City, Diamond Field, East, Eastern View, Meridian, Mid-South, Pioneer, Southwest, West Central, Western North, and the missions are Volta Ghana and Oti Ghana. The total population of this territory stands at 16,588,960, out of which the church membership stands at 190,230, representing 1.2% of the total population. These members worship in 1,062 churches, 1,276 companies, making 2,338 congregations. Evangelism as our call mandate, this is how we carried it out in the year 2022. As lockdowns were lifted and public gatherings allowed, the union intensified our efforts in public campaigns and mission efforts. As part of the Southern Ghana Union Conference evangelism projections for the Quinquennium, it is expected that each field, including the union headquarters itself, plans at least one new church each year with a provision of lamp shelter. In setting an example for the fields to follow, the union staff was empowered and supported by the leadership to embark on a gospel mission dubbed Win Okwabra for Christ under the theme Steps to Life Bible Lecture Series. This quinquennium, we have responded to the law that we will go. And so the union required that every conference should establish a church by herself. And the Southern Ghana Union Conference decided that the staff will show the way. So other conferences and missions in the union will follow suit. This village is called Okwabena. 39 years ago, Adventist um, Development and Relief Agency, ADRA, came to establish a school here 39 years ago. A full sort of school, nursery, primary um, or basic JHS and it has taken us 39 years down the line to show up again. The chief of this village started schooling here in this school. But better late than never, the staff of the Southern Ghana Union Conference decided that they would go and establish a church in an unentered area, a village called Okwabena. And the staff led by the Director for Evangelism, 
spearheaded this program. Today, we give glory to God that 50 uh, souls have been baptized to the glory of God. Hallelujah. And beyond that, the union has also helped with a lamp shelter behind me. By the end of this coming week, we are sure that the new congregation can worship in this lamp shelter or temporary structure. The union undertook two national satellite campaigns. The first took place from May 11 to 22, and the second October 12 to 22. This was made possible by the immense support from Hope Channel Ghana. Ghana National Association of Adventist Students undertook an orphanage evangelism at Akwemu Orphanage in the Eastern Region on March 12, 2022. They were engaged in livelihood empowerment programs and many other activities. During Ghana's Independence Day celebration on March 6, 2022, the Ghana National Association of Adventist Students undertook literature distribution at the various centers where the day was marked. There was literature distribution during the Global Youth Day celebration, and Sabbath afternoons, halls and hostels were visited. Over 100,000 pieces of literature was distributed. The youth ministries took advantage of the 2022 Global Youth Day captioned Loving the Forgotten to undertake intensive outreach and mission-oriented activities all in the 12 fields of Serving Ghana Union Conference. The total cost of the various projects undertaken was 165,368 cities, about $30,000. The Adventist Possibilities Ministries intensified the printing of Braille Sabbath School and other religious reading materials for our visually impaired church members as a result of receiving a sponsorship package from the Advent Press to procure 50 boxes of Braille printer papers from the United States of America. In the Mid-South Ghana Conference, the Youth Ministries and Adventist Possibility Ministries collaborated and gave a housing support to a visually impaired family. Mr. Kwabran Lata, 67 years, and his wife, Mami Kua, both visually impaired, have six children, two of whom can also not see. In ministering to special groups in the church, the Serving Ghana Union Conference Women's Ministry, in collaboration with the Pioneer Ghana Conference Women Ministries Department, organized a time with widows, an outreach at Budumbrim SDA Church premises to minister to their needs. 218 Adventists and seven non-Adventist widows were honored. With these evangelistic drives and mission-oriented outreach, 4,973 members were added to our membership. 1,684 won in the first quarter, 1,448 in the second and 1,841 in the third quarter, bringing the total membership of the union to 190,230. These members are served by 276 pastors. On the secretariat front, our goal of uploading church records into the ACMS is underway. Currently, the union has uploaded 75% of its records. As part of the recovery efforts and to help church members improve their businesses, entrepreneurial support and business advisory services were offered to members with the support of the government of Ghana. The stewardship department in consultation with the leadership of the Serving Ghana Union Conference held a business forum 
for over 300 participants draw from all our fields. Facilitators included personnel from the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, National Youth Employment Program, Ministry of Agri and other governmental agencies. A skills enhancement training in heart and fascinators organized for 30 young women within the union to assist them to start their own businesses. Each participant went home with all the equipment needed as a starter and a 300 Ghana cities to expand their businesses. Visits. The Minister of Education of the Republic of Ghana visited the leadership of the church. The visit made us aware of how STEM education is being promoted by the government and the need for Adventist education to improve upon our performance. The union had the privilege of hosting the global mission editor of the General Conference, Andrews Makchesna, and the global mission director of the West Central Africa Division, Pastor Josiah Chijoke Warunga. The purpose of their visit was to gather mission stories for the adult and children mission report. Excellence. With an enhanced support of the communication department, the union is now able to document in video and photograph most events that are organized, making reporting much easier. Additional support to the communication department has also revamped the online social media presence of the union within the year. The hottest new feature online allow for weekly updates on events, daily quotes and Bible tests have also enhanced youth engagement and participation with the union. We are hopeful that the coming year will see greater improvement in social media evangelism and engagement. The union is also pioneering a research agenda to gather data for decision making. Led by Dr. Solis Asafo, the research outfit will support departmental activities. Currently, the first survey of investigating membership retention cultures within the union is underway. Findings will help the Secretariat and the Evangelism Department in their membership retention and nurturing activities. By the grace of God, Mr. Macklin Ousubwat in a teacher at Nelong SDA Basic School, Tema Community 6 in the Tema Metro Education Directorate, an alumnus of Valley View University, was adjudged the national best teacher for junior high school category in the 2022 Ghana Teacher Prize Award. The second runner-up also an Adventist, Mr. David Harrison Mensa, is a teacher at the Sefi Bekwai SDA Junior High School in the Western North region of Ghana. Treasury. The financial indicators of the union for September 2022 as compared to the same period in 2021 stands as follows. As at December 2018, SGUC used to hold the West Central African Division Ward an amount of 950,000 Ghana cities. By the grace of God, this has been fully paid. We do not now owe the division any debt, but rather love. This can be truly testified by the financial indicators below. For self-support percentage in September 2021, 145.13 percent in September 2022, 161.76 percent. Liquidity September 2021, 87.90 percent in September 
0.53%. Actual working capital, September 2021, 174.11%. In September 2022, 254.87%. Recommended working capital, September 2021, 144.63%. September 2022, 214.18%. And current ratio, 1.74 is to 1, September 2021. And in September 2022, 2.55 is to 1. This report, we are sorry to announce the death of the wife of our ministerial secretary, Mrs. Comfort Thompson. She has since been buried. Let's continue to remember our pastor in our prayers. The Southern Ghana Union appreciates the work and support of the officers and directors of the division. The directors, the workers of the union, as well as the officers and directors of our fields. To God alone be the glory for all that he has done and will do for us as we work to accomplish his mission. Amen.